Okay, it's time to take a look at this rear suspension now on this Chrysler 300. And this right here, I think, is the main reason why almost no one runs these cars. Because of the independent rear suspension with all the aluminum control arms. Basically every single one of these is aluminum. And the first car I raced, I never swapped them out. And they all basically broke like toothpicks. And basically then your wheels are flopping around. Never broke an axle, but that's right there is the main reason I'm sure no one runs these. But, one thing a lot of other people don't know about is they make steel replacements for all these aluminum arms. Basically, I went to Kenny Upol looking for some replacement arms for the charger that I'd ran. And didn't really know they made these until I came across a Chrysler 300, actually, in Kenny Upol that had all stamped steel control arms and cast control arms so what we're going to be doing in this video is taking all this aluminum out of here and swapping all the metal control arms and <clears throat> trailing arms onto this a couple other things you can do if you're looking for a big job is to uh, a lot of people that i've seen that have raced these cars that have had some luck with them is they put forward 8.8s solid rear axle swap but for the stock uh, chain style builds that I do, it's really not worth it. So we're going to go and uh, swap in this cast stamp steel stuff. And uh, once I get it swapped in, I'll do another update. Another thing too, before I forget, this control arm right here is the hardest one to get out. Basically the way Dodge did it is it's a bolt with a nut on this end which makes it really difficult to get off because that bolt is basically almost against the sheet metal of the body which makes it almost impossible to get out of there. The correct procedure to do this if you look it up on a computer is actually to unbolt the entire subframe and suspension and actually drop it down in order to get that out of there but uh, we're definitely not doing that so what I did for the last one when I went to go swap it out is I was able to loosen the nut off this one here doesn't look as promising all these nuts are pretty rotten and so are the bolts so I sprayed them down with WD-40 so hopefully they come out of there not too bad but looks like it's gonna be a fight what I do is I pull the nut off on that end and you can slide the bolt back a little bit so basically slide the bolt back until it hits the sheet metal there then I get my sawzall and I come in through here and I slice the head of that bolt off so that I can then slide the rest of it out that way which then I, I can get this control arm out and then from all the cars I stripped at the scrapyard I grabbed all the nuts and bolts and hardware from them so then when you go to put it back together, you can actually slide the bolt in this way and put the nut on the opposite end, which will make it way easier to get apart the second time around and saves, saves you from having to drop this entire rear subframe out of the car to actually swap this stuff out. Okay, so I forgot to make a video before putting the wheel back on. But as you can see, trailing arms are all swapped over. Everything's now steel. So we're gonna see how this holds up. Spindle is still aluminum, so I'm hoping, uh, hoping that doesn't break. I've never had one break before on these cars, but uh, it's now the weakest link now that uh, the trailing arms are all swapped over. So we'll see how that holds up. Derby's about a week away, so won't be too long and we'll have an aftermath video of this thing and we'll see how she holds up.